don't know this, but there's a small company in Staffordshire that makes really remarkable Dutch barges. Here's part of their story. I'm Doral Plants, I'm 34 years of age. I've been working for Bike Boats for about seven years now. I come from a mechanic background. Uh, I actually was an engineer before and building wagons and trailers, uh, specialist Ministry, ministry of Defence. Then I decided to try uh, my own boats. That was about it, really. <laughs> I actually started as a, a fabricator on narrow boats, and within a few months I uh, progressed to the Dutch barges. And I've been working on the Dutch barges now for about six years. I'm a fabricator engineer, do a lot of fabrication and then basically pass it on to a welder. But we do most of the welding ourselves now as well. The steel comes in from Holland, shot blasted and primed. Uh, then it goes on to our flatbed CNC plasma cutting. From there we get basically a flat pack kit and from the kit it's built up from the ground upwards with basically chains, hammers, nothing technical. And then from there, it goes to the engineering and woodwork departments where the magic's done with all the woodwork and engineering. And Boat building gives you a great satisfaction. It's from seeing it from start to finish, to finish form to being in the water, it's great. It's to, it's to see what you've actually started with on a pallet and then to see it as a finished boat is absolutely brilliant. So to think that you've actually made that two, two to three blokes working hard to get it done, it's great. To see the customers' faces is brilliant. In steel work, we work in small groups, uh, groups of two to three per boat, and it's a great atmosphere. It's really, they are good lads, they're passionate about what they do. From the jobs I've done, different jobs I've done, this is the most rewarding job you could do. Right, well, my name is Steve Holcroft. I'm, I'm a joiner, uh, mostly, mostly working with hardwood. And I've been at Piper Boats for just about four years now. Well, um, it was a little bit tricky for me to pick up at first because it's so different than what I've been used to doing before, but um, I'm really into the swing of it now and I, I really enjoy it. Yeah, I, I do get a lot of job satisfaction here because um, mainly to do with the wheelhouse. Once the wheelhouse goes on the boat, then it really starts to look like a boat. It's it's quite satisfying to see a boat go out. And, um, you see the, the smiley faces of the new owners and all that sort of thing. It's uh, it's satisfying work, and I enjoy it. The, 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 and the, the the rest of the guys are great people. We all work hard, and it's it's good. Yeah. Uh, Piper Boats, I believe, is one of the uh, busiest or probably the busiest boat building company in the country and it, it doesn't surprise me because the quality of the work is you know the quality of the boat is uh, exceptional if if you're at all boaty if you like and you go on a finished boat uh, you'd have trouble coming off not saying I want one I'm David Lachlan uh, I've been working at Piper Boats for about eight years um, I'm currently doing the engineering on the boat also had a bit of time doing a bit of painting and a few other jobs. At Piper's, when we get a boat through from steelwork, um, one of the engineers will jump on and we'll put the first fix plumbing in under the floor. Then when the boat is spray foamed and insulated, we will then jump on the boat and put in all the first fix wiring on, onto the boat, make sure all the fittings are in, in the whole sides, and then let the joiners line out the boat. With the engine rooms at Pipers and the, on the Dutch barges, we, we tend to try and work from one side and come round as we go along. So we'll start by doing steering hydraulics at the back, we'll put the ram in, and then we'll work round doing the plumbing to the cylinder and the pressure jet boilers, which are like a 13 kilowatt boiler we put in there. Uh, then we fit the generator, which is like a, um, a six kilowatt generator normally, a whisper power generator. And then we'll carry on working round, do all the fuel filters, put the battery bank in uh, and then put the engine in, what size engine it will be having, whether it's a 90 or a 150. Uh, 
we, we also do the different types of cooling, so it's either raw water cooled or we do the keel cooled ones. Uh, once all that's been put in, the joiners can carry on building the wheelhouse above it and we carry on wiring up the inverters and the consumer units. One thing I really like about uh, working at Piper Boats is that it's always different. Every day you come in, you'll be doing a different part of the boat and every boat's different, so you're never repeating yourself too much and it's always a bit of a challenge to sort of figure out the different problems that different boats throw at, throw at you. At Piper Boats, we're all, uh, we're, it's, it's quite good morale here. Everybody's always having a good laugh and you know, winding each other up, but it's always it's very fast paced as well, so we're always working hard and everybody's getting knuckling down to get the boats out. So we sort of we play hard but we work hard as well. We moved from PWS Industrial Estate in Biddulph in 2005 into some brand new workshops on Victoria Business Park. We now employ 35 guys. We build 12 Dutch barges a year. In the narrowboat market, we're not building so many. We build probably three or four narrowboats a year. But mainly our main core business now is the Dutch star barges. Moving forward, I think we'll be looking to set another four or five guys on in the next 12 months. We're just about to start work on the extension on the building to increase production and we'd like to get production up to around 15 boats a year. So it's, uh, everything's moving forward. We find Biddulph to be a very good location, good communication links, good labour re labor resource in the area and the product's doing very well for us. Turnover at Victoria Business Park now is around about £3 million a year. We'll be pushing towards the £4 million in the next, in the next couple of years. So it's, uh, it's basically growing very, very steadily, but very healthy.